Tuesday. It is Tuesday. There is, you will notice, the more astute viewer will have noticed there was no Monday filming. I have decided to give myself one day off from vlogging a week. So vlogging seven days a week is, it creates a lot of editing. Um, and on Mondays, I edit the previous week's footage. So Mondays already, already feel very waffly to me because I'm going back through and editing and getting it ready to upload so that you guys see it Tuesday. Additionally, Mondays I rarely do anything apart from video editing and parcels, so Mondays are quite often very boring days to film stuff. Thirdly, I think I've done firstly, additionally and thirdly anyway, thirdly, or C, <laughs> it, I think it does me good to have a day when I don't pick up my camera and film everything that happens, or, or try to remember to film everything that happens or whatever. Not that I'm a particularly good vlogger, but anyway, you know what I mean. So I decided to give myself one day off from vlogging a week. The dogs are just coming in for their walk, by the way. I might go crazy around here. And most weeks that will be Monday. However, if anything is happening on a Monday, then I will vlog that. You know, you know, if anything, if, if, if a random excitement happens, I'll vlog it. I won't I won't turn up on Tuesday and go, oh, my God, you should have been here Monday. Monday was great. <laughs> But then I might give myself a day off later in the week in lieu or whatever. So I think I, I think it's I think it's I've been vlogging for a year now, as you know, I've been waffling every day for a year now. And and it's not that I don't enjoy it. I do still enjoy it. If I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't be doing it at all. But I think it does me good to have a day off now and again when I don't have to remember to do it or remember that I haven't done it and go, oh, bugger, I haven't recorded anything. So that's why there is no Monday footage for this week. And most weeks there will probably be no Monday footage unless... Like I said, unless exciting things start to happen on Mondays, in which case we'll relook at it. So it's Tuesday. It's 10 o'clock. I have been up for blah, hours, three hours, three hours. I've put washing on the line. I've done my parcels and I seem to have lost the rest of the time since I've been awake. I don't know what else I've done. Not a lot is the answer. Not a great deal. Spoken to Anthony a little bit. Talked to the dogs. Think Thought about tidying this room. Didn't do anything. I do have to do some listing today. Hey buddy, you alright? So, um, so yes, so it's Tuesday morning. It's I've put, like I said, I put wash on the line, but it's gone very overcast out there now. I could do with a little bit of sunshine and quite a lot of wind because I've got loads of wash up. All my own laundry has been backing up for a week now. So, eh, weather, weather change, please, universe. And yeah, Tuesday, off we go. Much excite as Lex would say. I've got two parcels. One of them is gold and shiny, so therefore surely that must be something nice. Who no, wouldn't send something nice? It's a nasty in a gold and shiny envelope. And one is on the back and it says from Julie Pearson and it says not a return. So so that's also something nice. I'm going to open them. Oh, this says birthday. It's not my birthday till the end of the month. Um so also this says birthday it says happy birthday have a great day from julie pearson a fan with a little smiley face you people have got to stop doing that it's mean um i don't think i should open it it's not, not my birthday for today's the 7th my birthday's the 24th 8th 9th 10th 17 days that's a long time to wait um i will message julie to say thank you but i won't open it because my birthday's not for ages yeah 17 days to my birthday damn you just sit there for 17 days and behave yourself, Parcel. I wonder if this one's also birthday. Ah. <laughs> this one says open me, so I'm going to do as I'm told. Do as I'm told and open the one that says open me. Can I do it one-handed is the question. Oh, not with, with great difficulty. <laughs> it's my wrong hand as well. We know my left hand. Oh my goodness, what's this? Oh, this is also birthday, although it did say open me, so I opened opened me. Um, I know who this is from because there are two window sticker fly traps, and I know who it's from because the lady messaged me to ask me if she could have my address to send them, and I said that was so kind, thank you so much, that would be lovely. I'm really hoping they work because I am so sick of flies, as you all know. I've been fighting fly infestations around here for what seems like forever now. So these are from Wendy Hawkins. Um, thank you so much, Wendy. That's so kind of you. But she didn't say that this was going to be in there, which is a Yours Clothing gift voucher. What have I done with it? A Yours Clothing gift voucher for my birthday. So that's very unexpected. Thank you so much, Wendy. How kind. I will put that with the other birthday thing and I'll open the other birthday thing. I would have opened that later if I'd realised. Wendy, that's really so kind of you. Thank you so much. 
It's like my birth month instead of my birthday. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. And I'm going to get these on Windows. I'm going to get these on Windows today. Hurrah. Hurrah for killing flies. I don't like killing things, but hurrah for maybe flies just... Oh, dear. Doesn't look like it's good for flies. Sorry, flies. Sorry, flies. You can't live in my house. OK. Thank you so much, Wendy. Thank you so much, Wendy. And thank you, Julie, for the one that I haven't opened yet. Yay, post. It is uh, quarter to three. I've got a headache. Headache came on at about lunchtime. I haven't really achieved much today. I intended to get all this work done. It's going to be a very worky day. I did my parcels. I've just dropped them off. I've done a couple of drafts, but nothing major. And I've just come to Home Bargains for a couple of things I need. And maybe I'll get some work done when I get home. All of the sacks, I picked up my bulk, my clothing sacks yesterday. They're all still in the boot. You can see them pushing the parcel shelf up. I haven't been brought them in the house yet. Not because of quarantine, just because if I take them in the house, I'll have to actually do the work that goes with them. And I don't have the oomph for that. So, um, <laughs> so I just popped home bargains to get the couple of things. I just realised I've just driven past the post box with my ones that needed to go in there. Must stop. If I take them out the bag, maybe I'll see them. They're green for God's sake and remember to post them on the way home because otherwise I'll just drive home with them again and they'll have just been for an outing which is happens occasionally with my post right so yeah I'm going in home bargains get a couple of bits and then home again lickety split two o'clock I've popped out to home bargains to buy a laminator it's now like four o'clock I still haven't got a laminator I've been to 82 different shops I've been to Home Bargains, I've been to Asda, I've been to b and I am now at the range to see if they've got a laminator. If they don't have a laminator, I am buying one online and, and that's it. And that's and I'm probably having a tantrum. Because this was meant to be a quick dip out and it's turned into a mission. I even had to get a Mackey's because I was like, I'm, I, I don't know whether I'm frustrated with the situation or hangry. So I've got a Mackey's. I feel a bit better now, so I was probably hangry. I'm going to go in the range see if they've got a bloody laminator. It is nearly bedtime, but before I go to bed, I'm going to have one of these as a snack. I bought these and featured them in a Home Bargains haul video that I filmed earlier today. I don't think you'll see that before you see the waffle. Either way, I'm going to try them now. Smells very strongly of cherry. Almost an artificial kind of smell, which I suppose it is really. And it does taste of cherry, but not as strong as it smells. It smelt like when you pour out a glass of cherry egg. That's how strong it was. It tastes cherry bake well. It's very nice. It's not as strong as it smells. But yeah, I'm really enjoying that. They were 50p for a pack of five from Home Bargain so, so I might get more of those one day if they've still got them. Home Bargain tend to get things in and then once they're gone, they're gone. So but yeah, I enjoyed that. Hmm. Good morning on Wednesday. Fringe on Monday. Hooray for fringe cutting on Monday. It is quarter to eleven. I've been up since about seven-ish. I have drafted this pile behind me, all of that stuff there. And I've got the sacks in from the car. Well, I say I, Anthony helped me. And that's the next job is going through the sacks. I've got two, two things left to draft here. Ignore those. I still can't draft those until I've got them out and check them properly. But so I'm going to draft these shoes and this aerial from my ma massive aerial collection. And um, and then I'm going to go through the sacks and see if there's anything exciting in there. So yeah, yay for Wednesday, yay for work. So far, draft today, 25. Feeling like an actual eBayer. That made me cheese on toast, yay! It is half past three. I have worked all day. I have a worky work day. Although I have had a long chat in between with some ladies on one of the video calls, I have dealt with all the sacks. I mean, oh, I, I've made a hell of a mess while I've been doing it. But I've dealt with all the sacks. I've sorted my parcels that need to go out from sackage. I've got piles of stuff that I need to list. Piles of stuff I need to photograph. It's all good. It's all rocking and rolling away. I am somewhat knackered. Um, I'm on the evening dog walk. It's only half past three, buddy. It's not time. I'm on the evening dog walk, so I'll be taking them in a bit. I feel like something else is niggling at me, but I don't know what. I think it might be the fact that I need to ring mum before I do Mastery Seller tonight, because Mastery Seller is a little bit later. So I need to remember to ring mum before. So that might be what's niggling away in my in my teeny weeny brain. And um, yeah, I should probably... Probably tidy up some stuff, shouldn't I? Yeah. Probably tidy up some stuff. Better look. It's not done, 
but it's better. This bag down here is stuff to be listed and then my tripod's there and the steamer's under there somewhere. And then there's a bag with Lex's birthday presents in it. And a bag of wallpaper that I bought for Voidfill that I don't know where it's going to live while I'm not Voidfilling with it. And a bag of clothes for the charity shop. And then pretty much everything else is how it was before. All the parcels are now in the hallway ready to be taken away. And I've emptied the bin, sort of. When I say emptied the bin, I mean I've taken the bin line out of the bin and put it by the door. It's one step closer to being emptied, isn't it? I've got my M&S microwave dinner, except it's been cooked in the oven because our microwave has gone badoof. And I don't think it looks anywhere near as appetising as usual. But still, get it down my neck and it's nearly time for Mastery Cellar. Good morning, it's Thursday. I've got a back of the skull headache that I've woken up with this morning, so I spent half the morning doing this, trying to, trying to break it, I think, or something, I don't know. Uh, it feels like my head's in a vice. Also, hair needs dying again already. How is that possible? Anyway, I'm up. I've been up a couple of hours. I've done my parcels. I've done my photographing, or most of it. I'm just, I photograph the clothes. Let's get this straight. I have photographed the clothes, not the small stuff. I need to put the clothes away and then photograph the small stuff. And um, I'm off to mum's in a bit. And uh, yeah, geez, state of the hair. Mum and Natalie and I have come to Oakham Treasures for lunch. They're open again. They opened this week. We've had a very nice... There's the remnants, look. Mum had... What did you have? Sausage, mash and peas? Yeah. And I had scampi chips and peas. And Natalie had sausages and chips. And she's out with... Molly's in the car, so Natalie's gone back out so that Molly's not on her own too long. And, I mean, it looks the same in here. They've got a couple of the tables closed off for social distancing. And when the lady bought their meals, we're sitting here at this table. And she said, oh, I'll have to put them on that table and then you go and grab them. So that was... So, so, to avoid, so that she doesn't have to come too close to us but apart from that it's all running much so they've put a plastic screen in on the counter I don't know if you guys can see that but much the same as usual and the food was just as good as it always is so um, we've had a nice lunch they've got three of the grommets I'm sure I've shown you guys this before but yeah we've had a lovely lunch and now, um, now we're off shopping I think yeah Tesco's centre mum wants to look for a plant so mum and Nat are going in they've taken Molly with them Molly's on the lead, she's going in with them, and I'm going to sit in the car and just inspect the inside of my eyelids for five minutes, I think. Just check the inside of my eyelids for damage, just for five minutes while they're gone. Because I'm pretty, uh, pretty sleepy. <sighs> it's, uh, something after six. I'm yeah, not sure where, but not very far. Um, I heard the church bells ringing a moment ago, so probably less than ten past six. Um, and I'm on me plumbing, and I'm cold. <laughs> It's been warm and humid all day and now I've come out with the dogs and it's just started a very, very faintly spot with rain and it's gone chilly. So that's sod's law, isn't it? I am cold on my plumbing um, and I'm down to two dogs out of a possible three. They'll turn up, they always do. Nice day with Mum today. Um, as you saw, we went to Oakham Treasures. I think I'd forgotten how to how to vlog when we're out in places. I'm so busy so busy trying to make sure that we do what the guidelines are for whichever place we are eating that I forget to actually vlog it or whatever. Not, not that it's probably not that interesting for you guys anyway. Um, and then we went to Tesco's and I waited in the car while Mum went in when Natalie was with us today. So Mum went in with Natalie today and I waited in the car with Molly. And um, back to Mum's. Changed her sheets for her, which is not, again, not very, not very thrilling this, is it? Frilling, that was frilling with a capital F, that was very Bristolian. It's not very thrilling. And I've just come out with the dogs. Natalie's making Hunter's chicken pasties and school cake so that's kind of iced sponge with sprinkles on i think so i'm gonna have some of that and i'm going to have an early night and i know that's not very thrilling either but the headache that i had this morning stayed with me until probably half 11 and it was still kind of foggy there in the afternoon and now i'm knackered it just leaves me totally wiped out afterwards so i'm gonna have an early night and i'm hoping tomorrow's gonna to be another good day for work i've done fairly well this week with cracking on and getting stuff done so i want to keep up the pretend the not perpentum i want to keep up the momentum keep the work going get some more listing done in the morning i haven't yet listed everything i got last sunday at the boot sale so get that done in the morning i've got a video to edit to go out saturday i've got a video to record at some point as well and uh, yeah and yeah that's that's tomorrow tomorrow's going to be a worky day Nothing very thrilling is going on this week. I think last weekend I did all the all the fun stuff and, and wore myself out. But yeah, yeah. So uh, this might be the end of tonight unless... I, I might show you Natalie's pasties. That could not sound more wrong. I might show you the result of Natalie's efforts in the kitchen. <laughs> dear, oh dear. New career choice for Nat, Greg's. 
Look at that. She is, this is a pasty that Natalie has made from, well, I was going to say ready-made pastry, but apart from that ingredients, that looks like a professional pasty. It's going to look like a professional plate of dead crumbs in a minute. And then she also made iced sponge, otherwise known as school cake. Yay. Good morning on Friday. Excuse the appearance. I have literally just got out of bed and sat in my office chair to take some photographs because if I don't do them now, they won't get done. So I'm up. I'm going to take some photos. I've just finished bagging yesterday's clothes. I'm going to take some photographs of the smaller stuff I did a photograph yesterday. And then I'm going to do some listing, I think. But I really could do with a shower and a hair wash and a hair dye. And I don't think I've got a hair dye. I don't think I've got one. I have to go and get one. So, nah. Well, it is 12 o'clock lunchtime. Um, I'm still in my pajamas. I still look like shite. I still haven't done anything about my hair. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> now I have, however, finished photographing and scheduling the listings that were outstanding, and done nine more, and packed and labelled and scheduled them. So I'm now scheduled for today, tomorrow, and Sunday. So that feels good. That feels like I'm a bit ahead of myself. Um, I might do some more listings later on. Natalie and I have been discussing this car boot sale down in Taunton today and we were discussing whether to go down but it's not looking like great weather and it's nearly an hour's drive so to drive for an hour and then possibly either find that everybody's gone home or that everybody's everything's wet and soggy or everybody's going home or whatever so I think I'm going to skip it I think it's that I will go it's um, Tina Lyon has told me about it excuse me itchy eye it's Tina Lyon who told me about it and I will go at some point but I think I would rather go on a day when I feel secure in the weather so we're going to go out and find a roast dinner somewhere instead. I'm not sure where yet, but that's the plan. Natalie's going to straighten her hair. She's in there, so she's gone downstairs. She's going to straighten her hair. I'm going to get dressed and, 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 and cleanse myself and generally make myself fit to be seen. Thank God for the fringe trim that's happening Monday. Eh? And, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to get, get, go and get, 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 get. We're going to go and get a roast dinner cooked by somebody else and brought to us on a plate. Yay for that. We've got carvery dinner. Roast dinner. What have we got that? We've got chips up there. You know what? Roast and chips. I've got roast as well. <laughs> Nothing green on her plate. I Nothing don't like green. It. Well, they only have cabbage and peas and I don't like them. She doesn't like green food. You don't do broccoli. Hey, broccoli. You don't like Dinner. We got to put in. What you got, Nat? Tiny mushmallows. <laughs> Where's mushmallows come from? It's from that TikTok recipe, wasn't it? And he said mushmallows. So Nat's got a rocky roast sundae with no cream because she don't like cream. And tiny mushmallows. And tiny mushmallows. And I've got a jam sponge, although that is really pathetically jam spongy, isn't it? That's basically, we've got some sponge and we'll put some jam on it so we can pretend it's jam sponge. And that put one of her tiny mushmallows on top. It's a mushmallow. <laughs> it's 11pm and I am absolutely knackered. I'm about halfway through editing a video that's meant to go up tomorrow morning. And I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it tonight, so it'll have to go up late. Not that it really matters, I suppose. You know who's up at 6am watching my videos anyway? Aren't you? You're not, are you? Anyway, um, yes, it might go up late, but it's not the end of the world if it goes up late. I can't, I, I'm just, I'm struggling to keep my eyes open. So um, I think I'm going to bed. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I was on the know about going over to the um, other side of the town car boot sale. But I think I'll wait and see what the weather's doing and form my decision therewith, there from, from there, forth with, with forth, and all the rest of it. See you tomorrow. Uh. Oh, oh, oh.
past nine, something like that. I really need to dye my hair. I've been in the shower this morning, washed it, but I don't have a hair dye at the moment, so I need to dye it. But um, I'm getting it cut Monday, and it always seems silly to me to dye it and then have it cut. Although they do that, if you go to the salon for a colour, they do the colour first and then the cut, and I've never understood why, unless it's something to do with, if you're a hairdresser, you probably know this, is it something to do with the cut end taking up the colour differently or something, maybe? I don't know. Anyway nothing to do with anything really is it apart from the fact that my hair needs dying and i haven't done it but i will do it after i've had it cut on monday <sighs> thanks for coming to my ted talk <laughs> um i'm on my plumbing it's like i said it's about five past nine out with the dogs obviously i didn't just come and sit on plumbing draw back to the plumbing in the mornings is all the sun's over there and i'm sitting here in the shade a bit chilly i was thinking of going over the other side of town to the big car boot sale today i very rarely go to that one i think i may have said this last night not sure now um, anyway, eBay this week has been the worst it's been for as, as long as I can remember. The worst I've had the worst week in years. So my total sales for this week since Monday are £189 and 5p, which is unspeakably bad. Um, what this tells me is, hey, I need to crack on with some more listing. Even though I have done listing this week and got stuff up, I need to crack on with a bit more. And B, I can't afford to go sourcing. I can't afford to. Can't pay the bills and buy more stock and don't need more stock because there's a cover full of stock. So so unfortunately I have to deny myself the pleasury. Pleasury. Pleasurely. Pleasure. Pleasure. Pleasuresome. Pleasure filled. The pleasing. The pleasing. <laughs> I have to deny myself the pleasing part of the job, which is the sourcing and the rummaging and the finding of the treasures. And get on with the backbone of the job. But you know what I mean? Get on with the actual work work. And do some listing and hope that things pick up. And all that's, the problem is that that's all you can do with eBay is hope that things pick up. You can't change anything. You can't make things pick up. I've got promoted listings on. I've run a sale. I've got auctions running. I've scheduled listings so that I'm drip feeding my account. I've done everything. Everything that any of us have ever discussed might help. And bear in mind it's all just hope and conjecture because none of us know what helps. I've done everything possible and it hasn't made any difference. So all I can do is keep on swimming. So I'm going to crack on with some listing today. I'm also hoping to make a sausage sausage and caramelised onion quiche because I just fancied that. So I've got sausages in the oven now cooking because I don't want to put them raw into the quiche. So they're in the oven cooking now while I'm out and then later on I'm going to attack that and, and decide what else. So I suppose sausage and onions and maybe peppers. Peppers might be nice in there. Mightn't they? Sausage, caramelised onion and peppers in a quiche. Might do that later. Well, I'll definitely make a quiche later because I'm already cooking the sausages. So, yeah, that's where I am with today so far. I'll take these hounds home, give them their breakfast, join in with Karen's, Karen's life for a bit and do some listing. I've got the washing machine on as well, so we get some washing out because it's plainly a nice day for drying and washing. Well, right, it's about, I think, one-ish. I've done, I've had a bit of a live chat with Karen, Lex and Heather this morning. I've done 10 drafts, I've just come down and I'm halfway through making my quiche. So I'm sitting here in the garden waiting for the base to blind bake so I can put the topping in and finish it off. Molly's out here in the sun. Oh, Molly was sitting really, really calmly and having a lovely time in the sun. And then Kai started shouting about something and now everybody's shouting. So yeah, so that's nice. But yeah, um, just sitting out in the garden for five minutes while my base blind bakes and then put my filling in and then I'm going to go back and do some more drafts in a minute and possibly some photos possibly yeah Natalie's put the wash on the line for me so my back's not great today my back is playing up but yeah it's all good it's all good stuff I've got sausage and caramelized onion and peppers quiche with chips for my dinner and a big blob of mayonnaise good morning it's 7 30 on Sunday and it's car boot time Ooh, about halfway around I think I'm not good, there's loads here today. I've done well, I've filled me trolling, I'm really pleased with what I've got. But I didn't bring so much money as usual because the car boot's been so poor recently. And now I feel like I should have brought more. But, um, but yeah, I'm doing okay. But I am not good. Car boot done. It got warm, it's going to be a lovely scorching day. I'm um, just meeting Josh for some breakfast. Uh, Josh was at the car boot, saw Josh there. And we've just come to the Toby. But I managed to get here before him. Now he went the back roads, I went the motorway. I've often wondered whether it is actually quicker because you have to do a detour to get on the motorway. Turned out it's quicker for me, but then is that because Josh drives very slowly? Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, I got here for us. This was thrilling. Thrilling as always. So yeah, a bit of breakfast with Josh and then home to do a live stream.
Lovely breakfast. Not, I just, I just got it, just timed it right because he brought fresh eggs out just as I got there. Josh is here too. Do you go back. Go back and demand a fresh egg. <laughs> Josh is having a fly, a fly in invasion. We've got coffee, so we're good. Got a, is it, are you drinking it black? Yeah. Uh, oh, that's that's that's, that's very manly. <laughs> got to make up for it somehow. <laughs> but yeah, lovely breakfast, and uh, I'm 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 on my way in. Twenty to four. I've been sat in the garden chatting with Debbie for a couple of hours. I'm going to try and finish my book. I've got only a little bit of my book left, so I'm going to try and finish that and then tidy up a bit out here, and then I really should go and do some work. Because I haven't listed any of the stuff I bought this morning yet, and I haven't put away. I've got photographs from yesterday, so yeah, I'm behind. I'm, but I'm, I should go and do some work. But I'm going to finish my book first. Okay, it is ten to eight, and I want to go to bed, and I can't go to bed because I've got stuff I need to do. Um, tomorrow morning, I need to photograph that pipe cover because I didn't get around to it today, and the light isn't any good in the evenings, as I've said before. So. I'm reversing my plans. My plan was photograph that today and then I do my parcels tomorrow morning before I go to pick up Mum for her much awaited haircut and also for my much awaited fringe trim. However, I really did do a rubbish job last time, didn't I? Anyway, however, I didn't get my photographs done because I tidied up some of the garden instead. And so now I'm going to get up tomorrow morning and do photos. And because of that, I'm going to do my parcels tonight. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Twenty past nine. Just finished um, watching Nick and Andrea. That was eventful tonight. Um, my parcels are done. Apart from this one, I just realised I haven't put a label on that one, so I've got to do that one. And I'm going to put them away. And this is it for today. This is the goodbye to the waffle for this week because um, because I'm going to bed. Um, having said at the beginning of the waffle this week that I wasn't going to vlog on Mondays anymore. Tomorrow is actually a red letter day because it's a haircut, so I probably will vlog tomorrow. But I will take a, a day off somewhere in the week anyway. This is the end of this week's waffle. I'll see you soon. Bye.